guys, Snapdragon Nation. It's your girl, Erica, once again. And wow, did week two of the Snapdragon Mobile Challenge bring the heat. And of course, the guys delivered on their promise by picking up where things left off last week. I mean, even the celebrations were pretty crazy as well. So let's go check those out real quick. Oh, the flame flinger troops he's on the right side. He knows. <laughs> he knows. Oh, oh he's, I love the he's, he's going on a double show for us, guys. Dobbs not only ripping this face to shreds, but then going to do a little juggling act on top of it. Nobody's been able to cross so far. So yeah. getting 13 stars is all but guarantee a oh victory boy, here. here. And uh, what's he doing is now? Is he in a pool? What's he? He's ah! in a pool. <laughs> Cannonball! Cannonball victory. Let's hey, go. I don't blame him. It's all right. Oh, is he oh. going to be able to play with his hands wet? I mean, I guess there's Everything's nothing left. In, yeah. He's going to go swim laps here while everybody else finishes. Hey. You know what? I can't really lie. This week kind of belonged to Family Nebula. They played three tough matches and went two for one of the week, taking down some pretty tough opponents, both the Night Shift and Alpha MX Esports, while failing only to the one and only Lotus Gaming, who are currently sitting on top of the leaderboard. Week two turned out to be the week where Family Nebula showed themselves to be a true and solid contender for the crown. However, Lotus Gaming does continue to rock and roll this week. So we know that Zappy Titan strategy is one of those troop comps that a lot of the pro players are currently using. So starting off, Ghost zapped out the Mono, Expo, Sweeper, and even caused damage to the RC in the core of the base. He then drops the Flame Flinger at the 3 o'clock side to set the pathing and to speed up the Warden walk. But as soon as the CC was pulled by a few sneaky goblins, Ghost then drops his queen and starts the E Titan spam with the king on the top side to help with the top side funneling. With all of his troops going to the core of the base, this was exactly the pathing that he needed. He then popped his king ability. His king was able to go full scent into the core of the base, picking up some of the key defenses. With the enemy king still up, things got a little bit scary here. His Yetis were able to take down the Multi Inferno with their Yeti Mites, and then Ghost was then able to send in a few headers in for the enemy king. With seconds to spare, his queen and a few cleanup troops were slowly but surely able to clean up the remaining of the base, allowing Ghost to put a triple on the board for Lotus Gaming. Well, time and time again, Lotus has proven to be the dominating presence this season. And after week two, they sit alone at the top of the leaderboard as the only undefeated team left. But not only that, many would probably argue that their season's only about to get easier from here on out. Why? Because Lotus already defeated some of the top ranking teams already, such as Empire Gaming, A Failing Nebula, and Taco Esports, which means two of the last three opponents occupied the bottom half of the leaderboard. So this season's kind of shaping up to be where Lotus might be going out to San Diego. However, their toughest remaining opponent might have something up their sleeves to mess up their war win streak. e drags are making a comeback and boy are they destroying a lot of the bases, but Kirk decided to make his attack fancy by adding a Blizz to an e drag spam. This allowed him to take out the Southside Eagle and a few other defenses and buildings. At 9 and 12 o'clock, Sneaky Goblins were sent to take out the storages to create a pathing for his e drags Kirk then puts the e drags directly in front of the Town Hall. But instead of the normal, you know, the typical e drag spam where you have a double raise drop and the Warden ability pop, he freezes the Mono, the Spell Tower, and also the Town Hall to hold onto his Warden ability and rage until his e drags move up closer to the Town Hall. His e drags were able to take out a huge chunk of the base, allowing his queen and somehow all four pets the ability to pick up the remaining defenses and give Aphelion Nebula the final triple they needed to secure the win. So the Night Shift have kind of emerged as an interesting dark horse this season. With Taco Esports struggling to find some wins and Alpha MX kind of in a bit of a slump as well, the Night Shift has stepped up and grabbed that fourth overall spot on the leaderboard. But oddly enough, they have almost the complete opposite situation as we outlined earlier with Lotus. 
their two wins were against two teams in the bottom of the leaderboard, which only means their schedule is about to get tougher since they still have to go up against Empire, Lotus, and Taco Esports. So this has many of us wondering, do they have the basis to overcome these tough opponents and stay in the mix? As we said, Lotus Gaming sits all by themselves on top of the leaderboard at a perfect 4-0. Close behind them are Empire Gaming and Ophelia Nebula, both with 3-1 records. The top four spots are then rounded out by the Night Shift, who have picked up two wins early, but are about to begin a much more challenging part of their season. I'm not gonna lie, it is a little surprising to see Taco Esports in the fifth spot with only one win and three losses despite them having a zero score differential. This means they're getting stars, but just barely coming out on the losing side of their matches. But you know what? It's all right. Have no fear. Just a small shift in momentum for them could be what they need to make a late run for a top four spot. Woo! What a crazy busy week. But man, week two was such a great week. But week three is going to be good, if not even better. So make sure you guys tune in this Friday at 4.30 Pacific Standard Time to see all the crazy competition, all the insane attacks, and also to check out my community spotlight that we got going on. But of course, if you like what you see and you want to keep up with us, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button below, but also ring that bell to be notified as soon as a new video drops. But thank you so much for watching and we'll see you this Friday.